Hey, what's happening everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. Today, I want to get into a dope collaboration that I have been looking forward to getting for a while now. When I first saw pictures of this collab, it was on my must-cop list. I just love the colors. I think it was done really well. I'm talking about the Soulfly Jordan 13s. I think these things are fire. I got them probably two weeks ago and it took a while for them to get here, but they're finally here and I wanna get into them with y'all. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Soulfly 13s. Man, this sunshine is very misleading. I thought it was really nice outside because I've been inside working all day, but then I came out and man, it is cold as can be, but these shoes are pretty hot, so hopefully that'll help. I really like how you can see the inspiration so clearly, even with this packaging. This Jordan 13 collaboration with Soulfly, I think they took inspiration from Jordan's fishing boat. Not to be confused with his super yacht, apparently Jordan owns a fishing boat that is in the competitive field and apparently they've won competitions and that sort of thing. I guess they're pretty good, but obviously he's got his hand in just about everything and I can't imagine whatever team he's vested in, I doubt it's gonna be a loser, you know? But anyhow, the inspiration for these 13s came from Jordan's fishing boat. I think that's very evident by the box. You can see that this looks like water. The top of the lid is just like a transparent plastic and it's got the Soulfly emblem there. It's like an S and an F, I believe. But it's just kind of a satin kind of finish on there. So it's got the Soulfly emblem and it's clear, but then the paper within is like water. It looks like the ocean. So I think that's a neat touch. And even the paper being wrinkled, it gives it like a wavy effect, which is very appropriate. But then the bottom of the box, if you can see that, it looks like, it just looks like sand. So we definitely get that beach theme. There we got a jump man, if you can see that. But we've got like a beach, sandy, ocean type theme to go along with this shoe that's inspired by his fishing boat. So even the packaging is dope. I already like it. The tag reads Air Jordan 13 Retro SP. I ordered these directly from the Soulfly website and it was a pretty easy pickup. I forget what else was dropping that day, but I think a lot of people were focused on other shoes and that sort of thing. I think these are fire, but you'll have to let me know what you think down in the comments. The colors are Muslin Celestine Blue and I got a size 10 and a half. These cost $200 retail on the Soulfly website. I think shipping was 25 bucks, which is kind of crazy because it took over two weeks to get here. But anyhow, I'm just glad they're here. Have a look at these beautiful shoes. I think these are so good. I thought pictures of these looked really dope. Blue is my favorite color. And I think with all this, I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it muslin or mousselin? I don't know what that word is, but I see that a lot. And that is for this sale or cream type color. But I'm not sure what the correct pronunciation of that is. But I'll just refer to this as sale for what we have for the ripstop material in here on the outsole as well. But this combination of this baby blue and gray along with this sail type color this is this is a home run to me i actually like this better i'll probably catch a lot of crap for this but i actually like this release better than the all mom and air fours so let me know if you think i'm crazy but these look so good these are immediately my favorite 13 in my collection I just think these hit on all cylinders for me. They came together really well. The quality is nice. It's different. It's I've never had a 13 that looked anything like this. You can see that inspiration of Jordan's boat coming through just by the colors. And I, I just, I love these things. I think they are so, so good. I haven't seen anybody talking about these. I know there's so much heat dropping right now. But I really think if you like these at all, 
you might end up regretting sleeping on these because I think they look like something special. And of course, everybody's got their own opinion and I might be crazy, but I think these are dope. There you can see that hologram there on the back, the cat eye. And of course, the 13 is always inspired by a panther or a big cat, something like that. I think it's a panther, but you get all these whisker dimples up here on the overlays. And then like the outsole is kind of inspired by the panther paw. But I just think every every angle of these is just phenomenal in my book. I like them way more in person than what I thought I would based on the pictures. These are just beautiful to me. It doesn't feel like everything else that I already have, you know? So I really, really like that. But let me know what you think of these. Let me know what your favorite collab that came out recently is. But this is up there for me. I can't lie. This is this is at the top of the list for me. But like I said, the 13 is always inspired by the Panther. And you get all this herringbone traction on the bottom in these different little pod areas. But that's kind of based on a Panther's paw. And that's in a gum material. And I don't know if I've ever had a 13 that had gum traction like that on the outsole. But I think along with this light blue and then this sail color, I just think that the gum outsole, those gum traction pods, I think it looks phenomenal. And of course, we have this little Jordan jewel accent down on the bottom. That's in a blue color. And then we also have this carbon fiber. And that's just kind of like in a tan color to match the gum outsole. But I love that. Even that, even the outsole I think is really, really dope looking. But then as you come up to the midsole area, you can see that this sail color or muslin, muslin, however you say it, it wraps up and you can see it there on the midsole and just above that we've got some painted areas it does seem like this paint has some rough spots like some bubbles in there i don't know if you can see that or not but there are some bubbles in my paint on the midsole but i'm not even mad at it i still think it looks dope as dope can be and if somebody's looking at them that close then i have other issues than whether or not they like my shoes or not but you can actually see those bubbles pretty well down there and now that being said even though you can see the bubbles a lot of times with 13s you get bad issues with the glue and that sort of thing on the fabric of the upper coming from the midsole and these are clean as can be aside from those little air bubbles but honestly I don't even mind that and two they're inspired by a fishing boat well fishing boats sit on the water and you have bubbles in the water so I'm just going to go with it and act like they meant to have those bubbles in there but it's on both shoes so I don't know if you can see that or not the paint is like a really really flat finish it's not shiny at all but it's a lovely lovely baby blue color but it does have lots of bubbles on both shoes up here in the front when you come up from that it's almost got this like rubberized coating like a protective coating there in the front and that's a little bit different than what we usually get on 13s but that's in a nice gray color and that matches this kind of felt fabric that we have here underneath these blue overlays but I love this shade of gray and just the way that it goes with the rest of the shoe. I think it looks phenomenal. There you can see that gray material around that cat eye. And I've always thought that that accent was just one of the coolest things. Hopefully you can get a good look at that. You can also see a lot of that gray there on the inside of the shoe too. But I'm just loving the way these colors go together. I don't really think that this is a wintertime shoe, especially for around here in West Virginia where we're supposed to get a bunch of snow and that sort of thing. But when the weather gets nicer, I can see me wearing these quite often. I think they'll be easy to throw outfits together to, whether it's shorts and a t-shirt or jeans and a t-shirt. I just think these things are fire. Another thing that's really different about this pair is the base is this ripstop material and it's in that nice 
sail or muslin, muslin colorway. And it looks like we've got that ripstop material going up the tongue as well. But usually we have like a synthetic film leather for the base. But on this we've got ripstop and I like that. I like switching it up a little bit like that. At the base of the tongue, we've got one tag that says Jordan on the right shoe, but then on the left shoe, it says Soulfly. It's kind of faint. It's kind of hard to see it, but it's there. And then on the right shoe on the tongue, we've got a Jumpman in that light blue there at the top. But on the left shoe, we've got the Soulfly emblem in light blue at the top. They gave us some sail colored laces that match the rest of this ripstop material and they're rope style laces it's got some reflective accents in it and i always like that just a little extra pop and for the sock liner of the shoe it's more of that really light blue color and it feels very very nice it kind of reminds me of like all mom and year sock liners it's real silky and satiny but this almost looks like it's like a hound's tooth pattern and it's not quilted like the all mom and years are but it's a very very padded very soft and silky feeling material and that's on the back of the tongue as well but i'm really digging that but that was a pretty quick look at these kicks you gotta let me know what you all think let me know if you think i'm crazy but I think these are even better than a lot of the more hyped releases that we've seen here around the holidays. These are definitely staying in the collection and I'm really glad that I got my size in this pair. I think these will be easy to rock and I'm just really, really pleased with how these came out. But let me know what you all think about them and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.